Hi, welcome to Have Yarn Creations. I'm Erin, and it is March the 27th. Mm -hmm. Yes, Wednesday, March 27th, 2022. I know it has been quite a while since I've posted anything. Um, here in the Northeast, we had winter break near the end of February, then they had a few weeks of which we had lots of congestion and coughing and stuff for my son with his allergies and he couldn't go to school and then we had a uh, spring break of course so he was home I have finally gotten him back in school so I can show you some of the stuff that I've been working on uh, there's been a different things one of the main things that I've been working on is repeat crafter me on Facebook is doing a project called the 2022 it's hashtag 2022 gnome project and every month of the year this is gonna be 12 of these um, she is designing a panel that you can use in different ways um, <clears throat> and you can do it it's a corner to corner graph gan and they're panels so if you do it the traditional with corner to corner or C to C you do it it's double crochets and that makes it good sized um, but anyway so it's going to be a large blanket when I get done with it but there's a gnome for each month now she's also doing it where you have a January you have a boy and a girl and uh, for each month so you can choose what I've been doing is doing boy girl boy girl so for the month of May which is I'm going to be doing a boy which is kind of funny because it's Mother's Day but anyway, I just, I started off and I liked the boys, so I was doing the boys. So this is the first one that she did. And as you can see, there is a snowflake on his hat. And he goes down and I used a kind of a fuzzy yarn for his pom-pom. But this was all strict. This one is all strict, uh, my yarn strash. So that, and... I've made them so that they're two-sided. So when I make it as a blanket, it won't matter which way you have it. And I am using a peach for all of the noses. She's not requiring any particular color for any particular one. Um, she's just making, putting it out there. So the second one I did is February. And yes, I have a few strings on this one in the back that I need to sew in. But here's my February. And I did make the girl this time. And again, I used a, um, the yarn I used for the pom-pom, again, is fuzzy. I don't know if you can kind of see a little bit of a fuzz there. It's the, it's a, these are, this one again is all my stuff, stash. But this is some stuff that I got, and it's um, a faux fur. And so, there's my little girl for February and so March I had some fun March I wanted to do a bag so I did a panel but I did a bag too so let me show you the panel first so here's my panel and of course I did a girl last so I'm doing a boy and then what I did is I crocheted the um, you can't really see it real good in the camera but they're shamrocks I did a little shamrock with a vine that goes up on his hat, and I did that on both sides. So here he is. Because I felt like he's March, he needed to have a shamrock. And this one, I actually, this yarn is, this yarn is new. I bought it because I needed more. And they didn't have the color that I had. Because if you'll see, I did a different color, a slightly different color on the bag. And these are all colors that I had in my stash, but I didn't have enough when I did, I did the boy. And this one, instead of the double crochet, this is half double crochet, so it's a little smaller. And I made little pants on the side to join it together. And what I did is I did it in all one long thing. Cause so here you can see I put the two graph gans bottom to bottom and crocheted them around. And this is the girl, and I put a shamrock on her shirt. 
and then yes I still have to do this one and I just made her a regular pom so and these are the handles I still have to pin it together because I want to do a liner so I made the handles in the green so that was all pretty much leftovers now for the final one I have for April is they has put bunny ears on the girl since I did a boy for my blanket in March I'm doing a girl and I did buy the purple you can't really see it but that's a oh there you can it's a really nice vibrant purple so I did the purple I think and I still have to make ties for her bottom of her hair down here so I was gonna make bow ties for it so in the midst of doing all of this I was told about a month or so ago that um, one of my husband's co-workers was having a baby so of course I have to do some baby blankets so the first one I did was my own that I did was um, pattern that I have in my past videos it's called um, it's a it's a twist on a virus and it's the what did I call it ah <laughs> it's um the uh, textured virus it's a textured virus like and so I can show you here I still I'm blocking it right now so this is it and you can see and I'll put it up close and you can see that it's textured because it's it's layered it's the way I did it it's I'm doing back back posts so it gives it that stacked look and it has little picos on the final rows of each thing and this here was done in a yarn that I bought this JC Breck um, and I bought it's from England and I don't know where I bought it from but I had this took me I had five skeins and this took me four but they're small these are little there, it, when you buy a lot of uh, yarn from Europe you'll find that um, or I have found anyway for me that it's um, only a hundred grams each which comes out to be about 200 and something yards they're not very much uh, for a four weight and this is a three weight and it was 200 and something yards so it was quite a bit of a three weight but it takes a lot to do th this one is a yarn eater it, it takes up a lot of yarn to do it and I did it this is a three weight so and then I did because her colors she said are blue and pink but they want grays in the background so I had this yarn so I thought it'd be fun to use it so the other one that I did and I'm blocking it on the other side so you'll have to excuse me for a second while I try to spin this is this one and this is a new stitch it's a new stitch and it's by um, Tracy with crochet rocks and it's called the she calls it the trophy stitch because she said when she made it it looks like little trophies standing in a row and I see more of a tulip thing but I, I'll bring it closer so you can see the stitch work and then for the outside edges I just did a I just did a double crochets uh, chain double crochet and then I did the double crochets inside the double crochets for the next round and I did six rounds of that to give it some more width so that's about all I don't have much that I've done but like I said that one blanket is a yarn eater it took me a while to get that done um, I have some more baby blankets that I need to do. Uh, I've got one that I'm going to be doing that's of the woodland creatures that I'm going to be taking blocks from um, the crochet crowd and doing them uh, the fox and the bear and I think the deer and I'm probably going to do the uh, raccoon. That's what it is. Probably going to do the raccoon and do it in a uh, window frame and border it um, I also have another one that I want to do with the um, from the Mandalorian it's it's the baby Yoda I don't know what his name is because I don't watch it 
but this couple that likes it is into it, so I thought that that would be fun. And I'm taking clues off of what she's posted for uh, in her things that she wants from Amazon list. So we'll see. That baby's not due for a while, so we'll see what happens. Um, but I've got to get those done, and those are all my really my plans. I have some yarn that I want to make me some summer tops. But now it's almost May and I haven't started them yet. So I may do those next before I do the other baby blankets. Just because I want to be able to enjoy some tops. Um, and I'll talk about those when I get to them. You have a lovely day. Stay safe. And thank you for joining me. If you have yarn, be creative.